Today we're gonna talk about 11 of the best Blender add-ons for animation that you can use as an artist to save time and take your work to the next level. We're gonna start with Face It, which is an add-on that will help you create all sorts of complex facial expressions for any 3D character, which is awesome. Its semi-automated and non-destructive workflow gives you the ability to go back and forth through the pipeline without losing any of your changes and easily creating adaptive facial shape keys that work with any character topology, whether it is realistic or stylized or maybe cartoonish as well. In my opinion, the best part is that it can save you a lot of time while automating the tedious processes of rigging and animating facial expressions. So, what would normally take days, you can do now in few minutes. The power of Face It is in its versatility. You can do so many things simultaneously, such as rigging, animating, and baking, in addition to the ability to go back and forth between stages without losing your work. Now we're gonna talk about a very useful add-on for Blender animators out there. If you use Blender for animation, you most likely have heard of this add-on, and you are probably using it, but on the chance that you are not, we're gonna revisit it and talk about it. Animation Layers is an add-on that simplifies the animation work with the NLA editor into a standard animation layers workflow. If you are coming from the old DCC apps such as Maya, 3ds Max, and so on, you will notice that Blender lacks this feature. Animation Layers gives you a whole lot of control over the structure of your animation. You can easily layer animations on top of each other, in addition to the ability to merge, bake, duplicate, and so many other things. You can select and edit each layer without the need to go through the whole process of going into the NLA's tweak mode. Other features that the add-on offers are the ability to bake upwards in contrast with the default vendor bake or merge down, and you can merge additive layers into new adaptive layers. Furthermore, there is Smart Bake, which is able to estimate the new Bezier handles of the new baked curves. The add-on also allows for a user library overrides, viewing and editing of multiple layers, extracting selected bones to a new layer, applying cyclic F curves, and so much more. We also have Bones Dynamic Pro, which is a Blender add-on that lets you improve your animations by adding physics and bone dynamics very easily. If you want to experience how fast it is to add such behaviors to your character animations or any kind of object animation that needs physics, you can grab the free version to try it for yourself. Now, after we talked about Bone Dynamics Pro and how it can help you to quickly add physics to your models in a simple process, now we're gonna talk about Simplicate, which is a new physics related add on from the same developer that can be used smoothly along with Bone Dynamics as we briefly demonstrated before. In short, Simplicate helps you generate collision boxes and physics ready cages from mesh, bones, or vertex groups. Combining Simplicage with Bone Dynamics can be a great idea to produce better looking physics animations. For example, in this quick looping animation, I used Bone Dynamics for the general shape of the punching bag and gave its armature that heavyweight looking chain. Then used Simplicage to generate a rematch soft body cage to simulate the interaction between the character and the surface of the bag. Now, talking about something different, we have this bundle that contains 5 Blender add-ons for better user experience when it comes to animating using Blender's Graph Editor. It includes GraphKit, an add-on that comes with a Graph Editor panel of 6 essential tools to speed up animating in Blender by allowing you to edit multiple f cores simultaneously, in addition to 4 other add-ons that also drastically simplify the animation workflow by making Blender's Graph Editor tools more accessible and much more easier such as the ability to keyframe simultaneously all the selected objects, to better edit multiple keyframes at once with even more options, and to copy and paste timing and ease of any keyframes, or the ability to delete and want static channels with only few clicks. Next, we have Horde, which is a Blender add-on that helps you add crowd systems to the scene automatically. And you can do that simply and rapidly in order to enhance the details in your scene and produce cool looking renders and animations. The thing is, it is difficult to achieve this kind of result in Blender because you have to either manually add people at one time, place them randomly, texture them, etc. Or you can create it with geometry nodes, but that requires a large and complex node system and a ton of assets before you can even begin. 
However, with Horde, adding a crowd is sped up and simplified because it only takes a few clicks to create a customizable crowd system. The best aspect about it is how many assets it includes and how straightforward the user interface menu is. And with the use of geometry nodes and void particle systems, it gives you the ability to add various controllable human crowds that includes animated 3D characters and most importantly, it is also very quick and easy to use. Also, if you want to animate text in Blender, we have text effects, which allows you to build complex font animation without math or keyframes. Actually, this add-on is simple both in concept and its use. All you need to do is apply the effect that you see appropriate for the animation or the kind of text you want, which can be combined in a variety of styles and settings to get the animation done. It also supports changing fonts, fading transparency, random color, and much more. There are different types of animations that you can apply, like converting selected text or paragraph with multiple lines to an animation, and transformations such as rotation and scaling, also random transformations such as the wiggle effect or a wave animation. Additionally, we have Animax, which is a procedural animation system for Blender. It is useful for animating multiple objects, and it allows you to create complex animations that are hard to achieve using Blender's built-in animation tools, but you can still do a lot of things using geometry nodes since it is really powerful. In Animax, you will find tools for splitting and shattering a mesh object into pieces, such as the new fracturing tool named Mesh Slicing. You can also convert the procedural animation to keyframes, since the animation is procedural, but it is possible to bake into keyframes a lot of parameters for complex animations. Using this add-on, you can create some interesting animation effects such as making objects dissolve, explode, or transition from one object to another, which I think is great for a certain type of animation work. Probably the first application for Animax that comes to mind is motion graphics. If you are a motion graphics artist, then Animax will help you to a certain extent, because it is a nice addition since it can do these types of effects fast. To create more realistic animations, we have X-Muscle System, which is an add-on designed for rapid muscular system, tissue, and other organic object creation, in addition to other physical simulations. Its main purpose is to help visualize better skin surface deformation according to volume preservation of the body type muscles, fat, and even skeletal bones. The add-on comes with a full anatomy bundle, fully fleshed models, human male and females, as well as a horse, cat, dog, and carnivore dinosaur skeletons. With the X-Muscle system, you are free to focus on the artwork and use your time effectively to create even more realistic, complex shapes and animations of characters and creatures. Next, we have Ghost Tool, which is an add-on for creating ghosts or onion skins in the viewport to help animators do their job faster and easier. This technique is actually used in creating animated cartoons and Japanese animated series to see several frames all at once. This way, the animator or editor can make decisions on how to create or change the next position of the character based on the previous position in the sequence. This type of add-on is great for better workflow, timing, and spacing. With the Ghost Tool, it is possible to visualize the action of the animation instantly without even moving the timeline cursor. This is great because animators usually move the timeline a lot to see the transition of the character in time. Some of the benefits that animators can get are the ability to generate on in skinning for any meshable object, and you can even do this for multiple objects such as characters or creatures. Alright, now we're gonna talk about Expose Picker, which is a tool designed for riggers and animators. It is a way to select and control characters inside Blender. Using Expose Picker, it is possible to create layouts and control characters easier and faster. The purpose of this add-on is to create a system of picking layouts and interfaces for selection and controlling characters and 3D objects with efficiency, which is really important to gain time and work more productively. Expose Picker was designed as a multi-platform program equipped with a simplified Python script editor and easy to implement house server. This gives you the possibility in the future to use it in 3D software such as Maya, Unreal Engine, or Unity using expressions. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
You can also let us know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.